It's about time. We Black Widow finally got our own movie. But was it too late? Yes, you heard it. I'm here to give you my quick thoughts on Black Widow. I'm gonna start off by saying really fun, entertaining, action-packed, but not a great movie. Of course, she doesn't have, you know, Iron Man, Captain America, Hawkeye uh, in this movie with her because this is her standalone movie. And also because she said, listen, I don't need the big heroes. Like, you know, like in Spider-Man where it's like Iron Man was in the first one and then Nick Fury is in the second one and now Doctor Strange is gonna be in his third one. Black Widow can easily stand on her own. She doesn't need, you know, Captain America or Hawkeye or Iron Man, like those guys I mentioned, or any of the Avengers. Just surround her with fantastic actors to play really new, interesting characters. That's all she needs. I gotta say, the standout for this movie was definitely Florence Pugh, who played her sister in the movie. David Harbour, Rachel Wise were great. Ray Winston as the villain was pretty good. Um, Taskmaster was fine. Um, I mean, obviously... The fighting was amazing in this movie. All the action and everything. Um, uh, I'll just give a little spoiler. Taskmaster ends up being a girl. Which, you know, some of us like me who are, you know, fans of, like, the original looks of the characters and who they're supposed to be originally. Uh, a little disappointing it wasn't a dude. But, you know, in the story, it kind of made sense because, and again, another spoiler, uh, uh, Drakeoff, who was Ray Winston's villainous character, um, you know, one of the last things Black Widow had to do to defect from S.H.I.E.L.D., was ultimately kill him and of course ended up finding out she didn't years later she didn't kill him and his daughter when she was very young was there in the building and of course uh basically they bombed the place so she thought she killed his daughter too but nope turned out she was put in the suit of taskmaster so just like all the other widows uh drakeoff can control them uh and then near the end of the movie, you know, she remembers who she is because of the serum that you kind of find out in the beginning of the movie. Uh, when you see uh, Florence's character in action, how she kind of remembers who she is and like, oh, what have I done? You know, like, why am I here or something like that? But yeah, it was very, it was very uh, disappointing. And I, I hated the suit. I'll tell you right now, if I had to hate anything about this movie, it was the suit of Taskmaster. Like that suit sucked. The original suit, way better. And the original character, way better than this one. But again, you know, I understood why they made it his daughter, just to make it a little more personal and add more to the story. So so overall, I, like, I didn't have a huge problem with it at all because, it, you know, it made sense. They had great chemistry, like all of them, but especially uh, Scarlett Johansson and Florence Pugh. They had such great chemistry. And Florence, like I said, steals the movie. Just steals it. Uh, funny comedic lines and just at the right timing. And it was a lot of fun. It, it was a lot of fun just seeing those two interact. And honestly, you 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 could look at the two of them and think they really are sisters. Like honestly, just the chemistry, it, it was it was uncanny. Uh, David Harbour, you know what you're getting with David Harbour. I mean, the guy was hilarious as Red Guardian, and you know when we kind of see him when he's in prison. Okay, when you fast forward time to where the movie takes place, he's talking about like, oh, you know, Captain America is my greatest adversary, you know that, and and that's like the whole thing of the movie is basically him saying like to Scarlett Johansson's character, Black Widow, does he ever talk about me? Who? Oh. Captain America, you know, so that that was really funny. And Rachel Wise, you know, she was she's been she's always been amazing in almost anything she's been in, even in bad movies. So she was great. Um, and I, I mentioned pretty much everyone I wanted to mention. Uh, but then of course, there is a there is a scene at the end of the movie. There is an after credits scene, um, and it involves Florence's character visiting uh, Black Widow's grave, uh, surrounded by pictures and teddy bears and flowers. And then, who shows up next to Florence? Valentina. Now, who's Valentina? She was played by Julie Louise Dreyfus in The Falcon and Winter Soldier. And originally, this was supposed to be her first cameo, but because of COVID and the pandemic, it got pushed back. And she ended up having her first appearance in Falcon and Winter Soldier instead of Black Widow. Um, even though Black Widow was shot, like I think way out before the pandemic hit. Uh, and she was she was she was she was great. And then of course it sets up uh, Hawkeye's series because basically she looks at Florence and goes, you know, your next target is the man who actually caught is the reason for your sister's death, which is not true. Uh, and she shows a picture of Hawkeye on a tablet, and that sets up Hawkeye's show, which you're thinking, ooh, and you're thinking Florence will probably be in like what one or two episodes, maybe tops. 
because I'm pretty sure that show is only gonna be like six episodes as well. You know, like Loki, where it's like 50 minutes long, 40, 50, 45, 50 minutes long. So yeah, so that was pretty awesome. But uh, so I'm looking forward to Hawkeye show just to see her appear. So I think that should be fun. So again, overall, not a great movie, but a fun, entertaining, action-packed one. And again, it's still like the fact that Marvel's not back in the theaters. That was good enough. You know, but again, not a great movie because, you know, it's just her and these people, you know, and, but again, overall, I was satisfied with it. Uh, and of course, I will say this real quick, they do go to Budapest, the place that she mentioned in the first Avengers movie and that we've always wondered like, oh yeah, it's the place where you and Hawkeye, you know, uh, started working together. So that was really cool seeing them in Budapest. Um, but overall, still enjoyed it. Not a great movie, but you all should go see it, whether you... Honestly, I would see it in the theater. Don't do the whole $30 premiere access thing. I mean, I'd rather watch it when it's free. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you'll see Black Widow. And if you have seen it, drop in the comments what you thought about it. And uh, well, I'll see you in the next video.